Sri Lanka's Minister of Power and Energy told Parliament that the request for an electricity tariff hike was directed to the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka. When this system was formulated, it was predicted that 4,500 units of electricity using hydropower could be generated in 2023. However, even the PUCSL has accepted and through predictions of the CEB and Department of Meteorology, it has been shown that due to the prevailing dry spell, it would be possible to generate only a maximum of 3,750 gigawatt hours. Accordingly, we have to generate 750 gigawatt hours more using thermal power. If the cost of production of one unit of electricity using hydropower is 6 rupees, the cost of production of one unit of electricity using thermal power would be around 50 rupees. We need to generate 750 of that. Similarly, when we revised tariffs in February, the Public Utilities Commission gave the same revision that the CEB asked for. In July, the CEB requested a 3% reduction of tariffs. However, the PUCSL decided on a 14% reduction based on the data they had. However, due to the situation created Created through this tariff reduction, the dry spell across the island and the issue with the release of water from the Samnala Vava, we now have to cover arrears of about 30 billion rupees. This is why the CEB has made a request from the PUCSL to revise electricity tariffs. However, ultimately, it is the PUCSL that will have to decide on it.